Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. We are here in Richmond, <laughs> actually down the street. Um, we are here at 31st Street Bethel AME Church. And we kind of came out here a while ago to do it um, uh, on site for them. They are looking at getting two digital walls installed. So I'm here um, waiting. The, the stuff is supposed to be delivered today. So I'm actually here early because um, they're also doing, we built a brand new system for them. I showed that video where I built that new um, 8600G. That is actually for this ministry. And that's going to power um, ProPresenter for the stage display and the digital walls. So we're here. Um, I got myself a, a bunch of lumber and supplies <laughs> to back up and support the wall. Um, I'm just waiting for some people to be here so I can get inside <laughs> and drop this off. And I know I didn't have enough space for my ladder and anything like that. So for right now, we are just going to drop off and set up the computer and we're going to um, get the lay of the land. We got our, did I bring my laser level? Yes, I did. Um, set my laser level so we can. Remember, the mind body connection is powerful. So we can mark off where everything goes. There's some Jim Rohn there I was listening to. Um, but anyway, let's just wait. And um, hopefully, it should be, the stuff will be delivered um, sometime today. Um, a good thing is, I'm not that far away from home. So if I need to go home and get some more supplies and all this other stuff, that should be very straightforward. So anyway, let's listen to a book until everybody gets here and then we go from there. All right, folks, a little embarrassing right here. I actually went to the wrong church. We're at 31st Street Baptist Church. That's where we're at now. And we're here to do some digital walls. Um, so right now they have, they are taking down the TVs, which I thought I had to do, but they're doing that. And this is where the framing that we're going to be put in place for the digital wall is going to go right there and right there. We have a computer that we that we just recently built. That's the 8600G. That's going to go up there. But they are actually doing some more electrical right now. So let me go up here. Doing good. So we're going to go up here, see what we need to do, and then start from there. All righty. So let's get in here. And we're going to go up and let me bring in the computer, get that out of the way, and then bring in some of the lumber. Now, I didn't bring my ladder and stuff like that, but we're going to try and mark off what we got so far. Um, and again, the screens are eight point two feet so i got a bunch of um two by fours um two yeah two by fours that are four feet long so we should be able to go off of those and because those were able to fit inside me could right here so we're going to use that to do a framing for the bottom the middle rungs and the top and i might have to get some more because again i just don't know um the sizing exactly of this one but we're in the framing of it the fact that it's 8.2 i can just put these on the edges and the very center will not be covered and that'll be fine because it will support itself so let me get this computer inside and we go from there all right so like i said this is their current setup and we obviously need some more space so i think i'm gonna set up everything here but because we definitely need some more space so anyway, let me move that over here for right now. The whole system we built here. Alrighty, the system is installed and we actually got some even better news. All of those cables right there are the ones that run up here. So the units that power the LED wall, I can actually put in a rack back here. And these are the cables that are gonna connect to the um, digital walls. So I don't have to worry about running new cables. The only thing, they're getting ready to split those circuits up there for each one of the digital walls. So it's enough power for each one. So they're on their own separate circuit. This part is fine. I just need to get the other rack that I had at home. And that was for another client, but I got time to order another one. That is going to be up here. That is what's going to hold the processing units. That's what's going to connect to the computer or the ATEM, whichever one. And then that's what will feed those. So that's good. So let me start bringing in these two by fours and we're going to start um, marking off where this is going to go. 
Alrighty, so this is in its temporary place with the brand new jack. And what we're going to do is I need to punch through here. And we're going to put a pass through for the video um, that's going to be for the stage display. That's actually going to come from the computer here for the second deck link. That will feed there. And... It all depends. I could run. Well, no, I don't have a converter, so we need to do a splitter. And I believe we're going to run this from the deck link, and then we're going to split the signal out. So at first, I was going to get a power supply, but the fact that this will only work when the TV is on, um, we'll pull power from the computer for this. So we'll feed this in from, I don't have no power here. Huh. Anyway, we're going to connect the deck link to that and then we'll run. I need to order some fiber optic HDMI cables. 250 foot should be fine to reach that distance. Well, 150 foot and then maybe a 20 or 25 We'll go from here and then punch through here to go right there and the same on that other side um i need to, i'm gonna put a tester on here because these are the bundles of cables that go all the way up there so i need to one of them is labeled the rest of them aren't so i need to label each one of these so that i know which one goes where these are the extenders that they're sending video actually i don't need those these are the extenders that go to the tvs up there so we need to test each one of these to find out which one is which we're going to extend these as well too so that they can reach over the intention is to put that rack actually right here but they have they're using up all the outlets right now um so we're going to figure that out so that's right tv right tv2 so those are my two cables and it's thankfully it's three going to each one so we these will be our feeds that actually go to the walls and if we put the rack here then i don't need to extend any of these cables Hold on. So those are the ones for the left and right. We put that rack here where the processors are gonna be. Then actually, I might actually need to shorten some of these cables a little bit, but that will provide the feed to each row up there. We'll identify each one and that's it. And then I need to find where internet is, which is here. And we need to run a cable from here over to the computer and I was this close to bringing my extra um, cables for making Ethernet cables, which I didn't bring, but oh well. Let's connect this up. And now I have my other taller tripod. Let's start measuring this off and then see if we can find out where they are with these screens. Alrighty folks, so I've actually been working so I haven't recorded as much. <laughs> I don't don't laugh. It's not tall enough. I have my other taller tripod. I have to go home and get. So I don't know if you can see it from here. This is not high enough. I'm actually going to go up 16 inches from here. So I actually have my mark right there where we're going. So another seven inches up is where I'm going to move that to. And then I have my boards that are gonna be seen, the ones that's at the bottom, um, I have those wrapped and we've used that before at Good Shepherd so they can't see that um, when you look up and it's gonna match the frame of the screen. So we got all of those set. Those other ones over here are gonna be for the top and all of the sides are also covered as well too. So if you look on the side, you won't see it. I do not plan on wrapping a frame around the screens um because we're going to put a board there if we need to i will i'll get some like some thin laminate or um 
I forgot the name of it, but anyway, it's like very th thin like this. Um, we'll get some more wrap and then we can put a box around it if need be. If I did that, then I really wouldn't even need to have done that. But, um, so I need to boost that up some more and get a little bit higher so that I can actually run the line. And again, still haven't heard back from when the delivery is supposed to be. Haven't heard from them at all. Um, so that's mainly what I'm waiting on. They're actually running some additional electrical right now for the TVs that I now have to hang. And then they're putting the electrical outlets on the other side because they only had two outlets up there for all the electronics. So the one he's working on right now is what I'm gonna plug into everything. So what I'm gonna do now is head home, get the rack mount, get my ladder, and get my um, 16 foot um, tripod. I mean, or I could use theirs. I don't think it's gonna get tall enough, but um, we'll figure out what we can do. And then I wanna start marking off everything we know is 8.2 feet wide. So worst case, those are, I um, only gotta pay, maybe put like what? Three inches, four inches in between them and then um, since they're four feet each, since the screen is that wide, the main thing is to do that and it's five feet tall. So I want to at least put the bottom row, make sure that's level there and then work up. And we need to make sure that we have plenty of room for the cables to be plugged in. I might need to see if they can do a recessed outlet. Um, I need to get with them before I get a chance, but somebody's blowing my phone up. Let me take care of that. All right, so for the most part, we got this measured off. We're coming six inches from the wall on either side, which gives me another, um, so that's actually gonna be eight, eight feet and two and a half inches um, if we come off of the wall in between here, and that still gives me another about six inches to play with um, if we need to go over. And I mean, 0.2 of a foot is not six inches not half so we got plenty of room so i'm gonna build off of this way so i'm gonna do the mount on the board on this side and then on the farther side and then kind of wait and then work my way up i just want to have the the bottom row level and then find the studs in here and it looks like this is double thick drywall um kind of hard for me to read something but we should be good from there So I got the bottom row there. I do have some playroom to move further this way and further that way if need be. I put about two and a quarter of, I mean, two and three fourths of an inch in between each one of the beams. So I should have more than enough room, but when we start mounting it, we're gonna mount from this side this way. So we'll know if we need to um, move any further. Again, I have not heard anything back from the trucking company. So we'll see. Um, thankfully, I don't have nothing tomorrow. But I mean, the main thing is mainly this right now. And you see, I had to have a whole bunch of hymnals <laughs> to get me up where I needed to for right now. I'm probably gonna need some more as we go for each row up to make sure it's it's level. So I need to get some Ethernet cable that I do have at home. I didn't want to make more more trips than I had to, but we need to get the computer up on the internet, and they need. To, I think they already use um, ProPresenter. So they need to deactivate their license and then um, that way we can move it over to the new system. And what I also need to do is go to, to Lowe's and I need to get some low voltage boxes so that we can put our plates. I did have some leftover um, um, grommets 
uh, I think two inch hole grommets that I, and I, I think I have one more left at home. Cause if that's the case, again, this is not gonna be seen. So these are the ones about running a hole on the other side um, so that the cables will pass through here. I might actually do that if I can make sure I have the right size drill hole saw with me. And actually, yes, I do. I have all four. At first, I was only going to put them on the side where everybody can see, but we will put these behind the TV and then on the other side of the TV so that we can just run the cable through and then I don't have to worry about a low voltage box or anything like that. So let me find my hole saw for this. Then we'll move the ladder back, punch through, and then I think I have, I need to order a couple of fiber optic cables, one fiber optic cable of 50 foot with do, and then on that other side. Alrighty, we got this on the internet. I actually had an extra Cat6 cable in the bottom of my under trunk in the car. So we got it connected. And I was always wondering why they use BoxCast when, not that there's anything wrong with BoxCast, but the ATEM is not connected in any way, shape or form. Um, to the network. I'm going to do that so that the other computer can see it as well too. But I'm kind of at a standstill on what I can do right now. I have not heard back from the people for delivery of the screen. <sighs> and I think the main issue, like I said, is LED Nation is fine. They hand it off to another freight company and they play by their own rules. So I was supposed to get a call. I have not so I'm going to give them a call, LED Nation, a call so I can find out who the actual freight company is so I can get some more information. I need to bring my vacuum to clean up the little mess that I made here. Um, also, I went ahead and ordered two um, TV wall mounts. And then I also ordered um, two 32-foot fiber optic HDMI cables. Um, because anything less than that, it was like a dollar difference. So it's like, might as well, we can just um, Velcro zip tie up any extra and let it live inside the rack. I intend on leaving my tools here since I'll be here tomorrow. Um, and again, the main thing is when I, I don't want to go any higher because I don't know exactly how high it's going to be. Um, I need to have the exact placement of the walls um the sections for the screen then we'll go up it, it's in three flight cases so typically that's eight in each one so that's 16 and then i don't know how many is going to go in the other one but we'll see and then we debbie that up we put the first row we count how many panels they need to go put the first row put a beam behind there and then it looks like it's probably going to be three rows I'm thinking it's gonna be three I don't see how it would be four because four of six that's 24 that would have been all of them right there so I think yeah I don't know anyway I just gotta wait for the stuff to be here and then we'll go from there so let me clean up my stuff as much as possible um, if I get word that they're actually here, it won't take me that long to get back here. So, um, pretty much I'm kind of, like I said, I'm kind of at a standstill. Really can't do anything else. And even if it comes later, I'm kind of tied with my time. Because I got to get my, my little one. And... We'll just see, we go from there. I should have more than enough screws and washers to hold this in place that will screw into the beams that I put up there. So we should be fine. Like I said, once we put that first row in, 
and we get, since it's level, we go from there, level the bottom row, then work up. We should avoid any of that um, inch and moving that stuff over like we've had to do before. But with the laser level, we'll put that up and we'll work off of that on each row. So hopefully we should avoid having to do anything crazy like that. And that's it. Now, I know they, I guess the pastor was looking at seeing if it's possible that we can finish this by Sunday. I have no idea. Um, if the stuff was here today and I had the bottom row down, I could probably say, give a rough estimate that if it was here, and I was able to at least put the bottom row on both sides, I probably could have it finished by tomorrow. But the fact that it's not here yet, I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. Anyway, that's day one. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow.